point. The guy, and I asked the same thing in the beginning. He's an absconder. He's a fugitive. He's being wanted in India for big financial crimes and frauds. Why should we believe what he's saying? Okay, so let's first look at the things which are not in dispute. First of all, it is not in dispute that there was a meeting between the economic offender and the then finance minister, the current finance minister, Mr. Jaitley. The fact that the meeting happened uh, prior to a scheduled appointment or in the absence of a scheduled appointment or subsequent to a scheduled appointment is absolutely inconsequential. And I think that statement has been put out to hoodwink the people because the fact that the meeting was scheduled or unscheduled is of no consequence at all. Whether the meeting happened, both sides have confirmed that, that the meeting happened. Both sides have even confirmed the content, the conversation, the subject matter of the conversation, the meeting that the, econo the said economic offender said that, look, I have certain bad debts which I need to settle with the banks. And the finance minister of India says that he was well aware of uh, such offers made by Mr. Malia in the past as well. He has not kept up with his offers and therefore he did not entertain any such conversation. Now, up till here, all facts are absolutely uh, clear. Nothing is in dispute and both sides have agreed. The following questions arise which point to a larger conspiracy which seems to be emerging here that the government of India did in fact aid and abet uh, the, the absconding of Mr. Vijay Malia. And the questions are as follows. One, the finance minister of India who is known to write blogs day in day out did not write even a single blog informing the people of India about such a meeting. Number two, there was a huge parliament session in both houses of parliament. There was an uproar and followed by a statement by the government uh, on the aspect of Mr. Malia's uh, 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 bad debts and yeah, the yeah. fact that he's left the country. The finance minister of India, who happens to be to this, the leader of the house in Rajya Sabha, did not even mention this p important piece of information even once. Not even once. No, Number that, two, isn't, that, that is exactly what I asked as well. That we didn't hear about this. We didn't hear about this encounter this, till today. Yeah. Ra Raghav Chadha, give me a second.